Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Arvid and in today's video I want to show you guys how you install the AL shader third party shaders for Maya using Arnold. I got quite a few emails and comments on the videos how to install them. I tried really my best to explain it via text but this time I will show you step by step how you install them. So first I want to show you that in Maya when I want to create a node that there is no AL shaders. So going to Arnold tab typing AL surface there's nothing there so no AL shaders installed. So you got two ways to install it either by copying your files into your Arnold um, install directory or you can use environment variables which I would recommend you guys to use. So first up, I downloaded the latest um, AL shaders, going to home, clicking on download here, and then choosing whatever OS you have. I will, this tutorial will just be focusing on uh, Windows. So downloading this, I got it on the desktop here, saying extract into folder. So this is what I got. So to install it, if you would read the guide here for Maya, it says copy the contents of the of the bin folder to M2I install into shaders. So whatever is in bin goes to shaders, and whatever is in AE goes to scripts M2I AUI AE. So let's see where I can find that. All right, on the right hand side, you can see the M2I install directory for Maya 2017, and going into um, shaders. This is where we need to copy all the stuff which is in bin. So you select everything, Control A, Control C, and Control V inside of the shaders. That is the one thing you gotta do. And then you need to go to scripts, M to A, UI, and then AE. And in here, you will copy um, the AE files, which are all the templates. So you copy them, paste them here as well, and they should be in place, there we go. And let's just double check if we got everything. So copy the contents of bin into shaders. We did that. And copy the contents of AE into UI, M2A, UI, AE. And we did that as well. So let's launch Maya and see if we got the files. All right, now back in Maya, let's try to create an AL surface. So tabbing in the node editor, AL surface. And there we go, we got the nodes. So this is the one one method to install the shaders, which I which I personally don't like because you're actually copying files into your install directory, and I am um, not a big fan. And the other thing is using environment variables, which I will show you now. But first, I need to remove all the stuff I've added here by I think yeah okay created the compiled the files now. So let's just select them. AL surface or you're until here custom shaders I think that should be all deleting and going back to shaders and let's see AL stuff AL until here let's just double check Yeah, I think we would. So deleting them as well. So how would you set up um, the environment variables? And what do they write here? Extract the package to an AL shader folder somewhere. And then you set the variables. So I did that already, setting the variables for my own folders, but I will create a new one. So let's just um, double check again one last time. What does it say? Okay, the plugin goes to the bin the templates to AE and the custom template to AEXML. So closing the install directory and I still have it uh, on my desktop. Oh no, I'll rename it because of it's uh, shorter in the variables. AL shaders. Let's call this just AL training, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so let's jump into my computer um, or let's just go to advanced, is it like this? Advanced, advanced system settings. Then you can go at the bottom, you see environment variables, and in here you can actually set up your paths. So the first thing you gotta add is Arnold plugin path. So you would go to new, then you would write Arnold 
underscore plugin path, what blah blah blah, copying this whole thing. And then all you gotta do is add this um, path wherever your install directory is. So I'll just uh, open this, copy the path, like so. And I just double click here and add the path. So we got C, AL training, and this should go into slash bin, slash bin and semicolon like so. So this is now the first thing you got to do. Then you go to the next one, Maya custom templates, same story, pasting the local directory, and then just adding the slash and then a e x m l like so and semicolon again hitting ok and the last one which is uh where is it i've added that custom and template path which is this one so same pasting it here adding the slash and then a e semicolon <clears throat> and let's see okay okay closing this guy and let's open Maya again all right Maya's back up and running and now let's just create another AL surface if it's here yeah there we go AL surface is there and trust me it is correct I deleted the old ones which we copied into the install directory and this is now working with the environment variables and this is how you install the AL shaders it is actually quite straightforward but if you still have any problems please um, get in touch let me know if you like the videos give me a thumbs up leave some comments below and as always happy rendering